Oh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Wrenching Wrecked. I have not been filming a bunch because I've been playing around with the truck. So since you guys saw me last, we did the uh, stereo teardown. I didn't want to go crazy in depth on all the wiring and everything else, but we got all of this stuff ripped apart, everything kind of wired up, and then um, basically got the old radio stuff out. And we're trying a cheapo $50 Amazon head unit which is right here. So I got everything wired up and I was hoping this would fix the speaker problem. Which it did not. This is all working, this is functioning. I do not have any power that's connected to my phone. Do not have any power going from there to the speakers. So all of the amps are bypassed, everything else is stripped apart. The only thing I can think of is that these speakers are completely shot. There's no fuses, there's nothing else in line. So I hit up AutoZone for the cheapest little 4x6 speakers they have. They were a whopping $34 for the pair. So we're going to pop these covers off. I'm not doing a full audio install because it's boring and it's tedious and it's a pain in the ass. But I'll at least try and get these apart and see what I break and what I do wrong so somebody can learn from that. I did bring my crappy little trim tools with. We'll try those. If those don't work, I'll just put a screwdriver underneath there. But the dash is in pretty good shape. This is the first time I just pulled the carpet off, the dash saver off. We're in a heat advisory for today and yesterday. Got home from work yesterday, did the AC compressor, and put a new compressor in, in the driveway. Got that done, ran over to my buddy's shop, we refilled it and recharged it. I have ice cold AC. So that was well worth it for the little bit I've been driving this today. So I think what I'm gonna do now is try and pop this, I'll throw you guys up somewhere, hopefully that I can put you out of the way. We'll start on the passenger side. Yeah, we'll start on the passenger side because it's easier to film that. This one's kind of a pain with the dash here, but I'll pop these covers up. Should be a couple bolts to get those screws out. And then once those are out, hopefully the brackets, the universal bracket on these drop in. And I think we might just run fresh speaker wire to the back of this little wiring harness deal and color code those. I do have rear speakers in this truck right back there. It's a huge pain to get to those. No, I'm not concerned about that yet. So we'll get this front one out. Then if it works, we can worry about messing around with the rears at a later date. See how broken these are and try not to break them anymore. Yep, one's down. Eh, halfway. Got one clip out, the other one snapped off. So I was kind of worried about that. But we'll figure something out with that. We're not going for show quality on this truck at all. Strictly, uh, we have a clean, very clean truck, and I would like to keep it that way. This radio also has a Bluetooth option. Um, it's a Bluetooth radio, but it's also, sorry, not Bluetooth. It's also got a backup camera, which I'm not big on all of that. However, this will be used to be towing the boat in the trailer, so we might actually try and put that back in. So, there we go, covers off. Got a couple small bolts down here. I think those are like 9 30 seconds or something. Maybe 7. 9. So let's get these out and then I'll pull the speaker up. tell how hot it is. I'm literally dripping sweat all over this dash, just touching it. It's so humid today. I just remember they never held me back. Okay. Now, pull this up. Which way does this come out here? Thank you. 
There's a little top clip that comes up there. So there's that one. Now, I'm gonna leave the factory harness. I could cut and splice all these and try and make them work, but I think to me it makes more sense to open up the new speaker first, figure out what's gonna fit or not fit, and then go from there. speaker wires too. We might actually recycle those or use those. What do we get here? I don't even know. Boss something? It's got some stupid LED light in here, but we're not worried about that either. So new crappy speakers. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is actually grab one of the new wiring kits. Black and red comes with pre-made ends on this side, looks like. And if these end up working, we'll go hot. They're labeled LED power. I don't want that one. I want a speaker power. So red is our hot. That'll clip on there. This will clip on to the negative. Shit. Very flimsy, so be cautious when you're putting these on. Not the greatest of connections. I just rolled their good thing down the hill. <laughs> My bad. I didn't know it was gonna roll that fast. All right. So if you want to hook it up, it does light up a blue LED of some sort. But that's not my style at all. So if I really cared enough. Uh, do I pull the dash out? Yeah, let's do that. It's just gonna make it way easier for me. Uh, what do I need? I need a Phillips. And maybe some Torx. No, just Phillips on this. Oh, no. It's not. Just kidding. Drop that out, and then I need a little Torx bit guy. No, why do I keep saying that? I need a seven mil. Do not, huh, you might not have to do this, but for me it's way quicker if I get rid of those couple bolts on this dash cover, glove box cover. I end up with a lot more room on the inside of this to just kind of run and drape the wires over. We're not doing a super nice install on this either. Down and dirty. Don't lose your little bracket like I just dropped. Move my mic higher up because we are playing with magnets here. And I don't need to ruin a $200 microphone with a $20 set of speakers. All right, so now that that's open, we have this whole accessible area to pull these through. We're gonna drop our extra connectors down in here. If they rattle around a bit, that's fine. And... I got those from Doug. What? Doug. Huh? Doug. Um, Come on. Fit? It will. It looks like they fit. Yeah, they will. I got a breeze. No, it'll overheat. All right. So first things first, we're gonna throw these bolts back in. Hopefully they're long enough. Nope, 
Those are the seven mils. Is that right? What do we take out of here? I don't even remember. 9.30 seconds, right? Hmm. Maybe those are interchangeable. And this will be kind of the real test here. Because once I get these bolted back in, we are going to plug them in and turn them on. See if I can get at least power to one speaker. And then that'll pretty much wrap up the this part of the video until I can get the rest of it hooked up. But I have no sound prior to putting these in. I don't know if this is gonna work. If it is, if it doesn't work, then I have a much bigger problem, but that's why I'm bypassing the factory wiring. If I bypass the stock stuff, oh, these are the wrong ones. Okay, I'm gonna screw these in, and then we're gonna run this wire, hardwired to the right front connection back here. We'll be back when I'm done with that. We got the wires disconnected or run behind the dash. And I'm using this speaker wire that came with it, which is extremely thin. So I'm kind of cutting them long and extending the two ends like this. Then we're gonna take a look at our wiring harness here. And we're only focused on the front right, which is gray, black, and gray. Gray, black is our ground. Gray is our, or sorry, gray, black is our negative. Gray is our positive. So that I'm gonna find the appropriate one on the harness over here, which needs to go into the car. So I only need this part right here that just ripped out. So this gray wire is our positive. So I'm gonna hook these two up right here. And I think I'm just gonna gently set these up for right now and then I'll actually wire them. They're just speaker wires after all, but this should get us. This should let me figure out which I need to actually hook up. So there's our gray, and then our gray black over here. Same thing. If we test this, I should at least have some sort of sound before we wire everything else up. Oh. Okay, so I got four dead speakers in the truck. That was what I wanted to figure out today. Don't mind the blend door actuator. That's a later date problem. It goes off, so it doesn't bother me that much. But I've been freaking out because I didn't have wires or didn't have sound with the stock head unit, which was working. Everything on that works. Found the radio, was able to change stations, go through all the presets, do whatever else. And all of that worked. The equalizer worked, every button worked. So if anybody's looking for a good running one for a stock rebuild or restoration, I have one. I'm running these crappy speakers, I'm okay with that. So we got one working, I'll get over to the other one. And I might actually step up the gauge one. Eh, we'll see, this will be fine for now. I do have speaker wire, the six, this is probably like 20, 24 gauge. I do have 16 gauge. Let me go through some connectors. I'm not gonna be filming any of the wiring over here because it's hot and I'm miserable and sweating all over the place and it's not really that fun to watch, so. That worked. We have working sound again. I'd leave it running, but whatever. And then I also need to solder in a, make a new coax cable for the antenna wire too. So lots of wiring here, and then we'll be back hopefully when it's all done. And there might be a backup camera hooked up. I might just wire it so I can button up the dash and be done with it. Broken clip, that'll just rest in there for now. There's a carpet and Velcro that's gonna hold it all in place for now, and if I ever wanna get around to fixing all that, I can, but it is what it is. I'm super excited because this has been bugging me since I bought the truck a week ago, less than a week ago. Alrighty, well, that was fun. I got pretty much everything hooked up on the head unit, 
so there's no signal now. Let me see if I can connect here. Um, it's been a fun little day. Crazy, crazy hot all day, and now extreme thunderstorms. So our porta potty over there got tipped over, which is gonna be fun for Daddy to clean up. It's gonna be a her problem, not mine. She wanted it, so she should be responsible. I feel like that's fair. Uh, I got the AC working in here. Like I said, it is ice cold in here. And the head unit is hooked up. If I plug this, it is the one downside to this cheapo $45 Amazon unit. It's CarPlay if I plug this into a charging thing. So it'll charge your phone, but then it'll sync the screen. You can do text messages and all that off of there or something. I don't know, I've never had CarPlay before, but it seemed promising. Down here, I do still have the wires run for the backup camera. I ran them all the way over to the door, past the seat here, and then, where is that? Sitting back here. The only thing I gotta do to make this work is splice this up to the brake light switch for power and ground, and then this camera, I think I'm gonna mount it in the bumper right above the hitch. For backing up, that should make it much easier on me. Um, so that's done, this is done. I gotta figure out how to set the clock and all of that other stuff, but overall it's not a bad little unit. You get Bluetooth. I can call out from here. I do have the mic, I just rested it over here. I don't, I didn't, it's not long enough of a cable to mic up and put up here. So it's resting here for now. Um, we'll figure out how to set that, but we have radio. I get before YouTube cuts that out, so. But well, radio's working, that, uh, I kind of spliced it and just jammed it in a jack. It is not a proper fix. I need to get a new cable, or at least a cable end, and then I'll splice the wires together. I don't have the tools, the high pressure crimper tool to lock that in, but I could not be happier thus far with this truck. I'm out a couple hundred bucks since we got this. I got brand new tires, all six of them showed up. We patched the brake line. I have brand new wheel cylinders down there for the one brake bleeder, bleeder screw broke. So I will have to address that at some point. Fix the broken brake, brake, broken brake, bleeder screw. Fix the broken brake bleeder on the back driver's side. But I was talking to my buddy and he's like, do them both at the same time. Wheels are coming off anyway. I think we're gonna coat those, get the wheels coated, cleaned up, and uh, go from there. But. Overall, successful day. I know it's kind of an off-kilter video for what we're usually doing, but one day at a time, just slowly chipping away at this thing.